and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. I'm going to talk to you tonight, actually. Let me get it up here. Twitter. Twitter is earnings out tonight in basically two hours and 15 minutes. I'm watching this, watching this, watching this. Can't wait to see what it does. Will I go long Twitter? Will I short Twitter? I don't know. However, I will say this. I think Twitter is a big move and I think it affects the market. So let's take a look at it. This stock has had a nice run up. I will say that. Um, it dropped in April. That was on the earnings too, after a beautiful rally on the earlier earnings back to the beginning of the year. Here's the whole chart. So it's had a nice recovery and it's had a really big recovery since COVID, you know, since everything fell, which was, you know, 18 months ago. But I don't know what it does tonight. And so, you know, what I'm what I hope is that it does something that I can get a trade in it, you know. Not every gap up is a long. Not every gap down is a short. I use my rating system, which is a 26 point rating system to determine what direction to trade the stock, like Twitter. It's gonna gap, that I can tell you. So I really hope that it does something that I can grab onto and trade. Whether it's a long or short, I don't care. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is gonna affect the market. It will affect other stocks in this sector. In fact, let's just plop up Netflix here quickly. This is dying today. And Twitter's part of the QQQ. So, so here we go. Previous high was 365.49, 365.46. We are rallying today, not far from the highs. You cannot deny the strength in the market. However, if Twitter does not report good tonight, and it's kind of, it almost feels like the market's waiting for that. I mean, because we're really, we're not going to go over the high today, and I didn't think we were going to. And I don't think we're going to go over the high this week, but I could be wrong, because if Twitter gaps up and has boom, bust out, crazy bullish earnings and rallies, then the market will make a new high this week. So it'll be very interesting to see exactly what happens with Twitter tonight. So the market will continue rallying if Twitter's up tonight, that's for sure. Um, at least in the gap up tomorrow morning, if we do that. So if Twitter gaps up, the QQQs are going to gap up and they could make a new high. I don't think that the market is going to make a new high though this week. So what's Twitter going to do? I don't know. Again, I'm going to be watching this at four o'clock simply because it's going to affect the market. It will affect the market. And when you're in trades, if you're, if you're in swing trades, if you're in options trades, you have to watch what the market's doing because most stocks on any given day will go with the market. But because Twitter is such a big one, for tonight. I'm really going to be watching this, but I don't think that Twitter, I don't know. I mean, I just didn't see this market making new high this week, but if Twitter gaps up, it will, because we are not far off of it. We're about two bucks, two dollars and 20 cents off the highs. I mean, it is hard to believe, especially with the gap down we had here Monday. We rallied right back. I would never have gone long this, and I did not go long this, but people did. And it did follow through here for two days. We'll see where we close today. I'm watching Twitter. Twitter is the big one tonight. Twitter, we'll see. So watch Twitter tonight and watch the market. I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow, but cross my fingers that I can. How will I know? Well, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it tonight after it reports, and then I'll re-rate it in the morning because sometimes I do that because it could change a lot from the night to the morning. Good luck, everyone, and have a great week.